Yo, Famo, the Savage Hustlers fam. Ha <laughs> ha, it all begins here. Let's do it. And it begins here. What's up, everyone, and welcome back to Mike's Room. Here in Mike's Room, guys, if you guys don't know what I do already, I like to go ahead and get high, just like I did right now, and then I like to go ahead and get any type of home products or tech products that I can get my hands on and do a nice interview for you guys so that you guys know what you guys are getting into in case you guys decide to get the same stuff. Now for today, guys, this is going to be the first time that I do a video for a gaming headset, but... Since I myself do not have a gaming device like Xbox or PS4, I'm broke. Anyways, I don't have that, but my good friend, my best friend, almost like my brother right here, basically my brother, does have a PS4 and an Xbox and a Switch and a PC. <laughs> And so he was able to actually do this testing for me so that he can actually do the review for you guys. So I want to introduce him. Jacob, this is my very, very great guys? friend, guys. Cut him some slack. It's his first time on the camera, okay? So he's going to be doing the review for you guys. But before we do the review, we're going to go ahead and show you guys what came in the box and then go over the specs and everything. And then he's going to go ahead and take over and do the review for you guys. So the headset we are going to be reviewing today, guys, are the Onikuma K10 Pro gaming headsets. So before we get into the specs and get into the review, let's go ahead and show you guys what came in the box. First of all, guys, this is the box here. Ooh. Then you also get the manual. Then you get this cord here that also comes in the box. And what this cord is for is to connect from the earphones into here. And then with these here, these connect into a PC or into a laptop that have the separate connections for a microphone and for the headset. So that's pretty nice that they included that as well. Now, ladies and gentlemen, these are the Onikuma K10 Pros. Ooh, nice. So before he gives you the review, giving you the pros and cons, let's go ahead and go over a couple of specs that are on these Onikuma K10 Pro gaming headsets. Let's get into that. Give us some of them specs. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, so first of all, on each side, on the left and right, these have 50 millimeter directional drivers that are supposed to produce high quality, hi-fi sound. This also has a microphone that is a noise cancellation microphone. The cable length is measured out to 2.2 meters, which is equivalent to about 7 feet. That's pretty long. <laughs> this also has an LED setting that is in here, around here, but we're going to show you guys that in a little bit and how it looks like. It comes with a 3.5 millimeter headset jack and also a USB, so you can plug it into your computer. These have memory foam ear pads and also a memory foam head pad right there at the top. And since these are a multi-platform headset jack, these will work with basically anything that has to do with game. PC, PS4, Xbox, and even Switch. Even mobile. Even mobile. He knows. Mm -hmm. So, with the specs out of the way, and showing you guys what came in the box and how they look, all nice and everything, I'm actually going to pass these on to my brother right here, and he is going to go ahead and give you guys the lowdown on the Onikuma K10 Pro. Jacob, it's all yours. All right, so, what's up guys? Today I'm gonna to be doing the review on these headsets. I'm gonna give you a couple of pros and cons. Uh, for the first pro, you know, the sound quality on them, they're pretty good. The bass is uh, it's really good, it's not too overbearing, so you don't get a lot of the shakiness in your ear. And you can really hear the directional drivers on this game. The uh, couple games that I was playing was The Outer Worlds and Modern Warfare. And you know, for Modern Warfare, you can hear where, you're, where the enemies are running at because the footsteps are really loud in that game. Or in Outer Worlds, you can hear you know where your companions are, if they're behind you, or if you hear an enemy in front of you. So that, that was really good on the sound quality. For my next pro, 
is the noise cancellation microphone. It goes up and down, you know, and it's uh, made out of bending material so you can bend it over and you don't have to like shout inside the microphone. Cause, bend you know, it over. <laughs> I didn't know that it uh, bent over so I was kind of yelling at it. Yeah, you know, I had to made a phone call, you know, to my girlfriend and phone quality was really great on that. You know, you can hear them through the headset and it sounds, she said she could hear me really clear through uh, the microphone piece. And you don't also get a lot of feedback from the TV, you know, if some of you guys have it really loud. Maybe not too loud, because you know any TV too loud will feed it back into it. Yeah, it won't it won't feed into the microphone, so you don't get people cussing at you online. Uh, yeah, I had that happen. For my next pro is the style on them, you know? The memory foam headset, as you said, and the little headband up here. I like the little silver spots on the sides, and then you have these little matching ones in the back. I thought that was pretty cool. And the grate with their symbol, I see I never seen that before. Maybe I'm just not looking hard enough, but I, I still I've never seen it. They have this little measurement thing in the band here, so you can see the numbers. I think it's every I don't know what it is, but you know they have numbers in there, so you don't have to guess which side is you know higher or if it's not. They also light up on the sides, and we'll show you that in a little bit. Oh, also. They feel pretty good going on, and you can't really hear anything right now. So when you have the volume all the way up, you really can't hear anything at all. And uh, that's good in case you have kids and you don't want to hear them. <laughs> um, and uh, after a couple of hours, though, they uh, they do start to give you ear fatigue, so they kind of hurt. So it's maybe a little more for casual gamers that don't play all day, like probably the kids that you're trying to ignore do all day. <laughs> um, you know, depending on who you are. <laughs> also another pro the length of the wire is really good you know sitting at about seven feet so that's really good for uh, PCs or a switch with a dock and the, this little switch only works with the PC or the switch with the dock and and that's what lights these things up and I like the way the wire material is made it's not rubber so it's not scraping over your warm skin or anything like that so i thought that was pretty cool and you know i think i think that's about it for the pros and now i'm going to tell you guys a little bit about the cons <laughs> yeah so the only two cons that i have the first one is you know like i said earlier that when you put them on for a couple of hours you start to hurt so that's pretty much the only thing maybe more for you casual gamers also like i said you know the long wire comes with a little strap here so you can roll it up and for you PS4 and Xbox players it's gonna be a lot of weight because the incline, incline control is a little heavy too you know that this works really great though you know the switch it's easy to turn on and off but the weight is sitting on your lap sometimes will fall when you like get you know how you guys get interested you lean forward it'll fall and then it'll pull on the left side a little bit so that's kind of annoying if you know you're in a match and you just like in the middle of a game. It does not light up on a PS4 or an Xbox unless you have a portable charger and you want to be spoiled about it and you want to show off to your friends then you can just plug it in. Check this out though, it's cool. Yeah, the lights are really cool on it. And it lights up, yeah, on both sides. And I know a lot of Afterglow headsets, they have like the box that's lit up or whatever. You know, you plug it in and it doesn't work and it doesn't even have that connection so you can never see it light up. So as long as you have a portable charger, guys, you can connect that in there and the lights will just go. They'll just stay on. So that's pretty cool if you guys have a portable charger and you guys just, like you always said, be spoiled about it. Okay. Uh, oh, hold on. Hold on. I can plug that back in again. Uh, I didn't even notice this earlier, but yeah, see the lights, they switch colors and I did not, I did not see that. So that is, that's actually pretty cool. So they sounded good all in all. They, they have good features and you recommend them you do you recommend these to yeah kids for, to anyone yeah adults? for that price it's a steal pretty much you know uh, 28 dollars for on headphones, amazon for headphones like this you probably have to pay for turtle beaches or whatever 40 bucks and this is this works just as good and you know it looks it looks cooler than you know it has that actual lights that work on the side and you've owned a, a pair of turtle beaches yeah right? yeah i have i have a pair at home you know i still get a little ear fatigue with those ones too but uh, you know, that's why I say, you know, it's, even for heavy gamers, you guys might like these too. Because I know your fatigue, you know, happens no matter what. So all in all, do you really think that these can compete with with uh, bigger names that are out there for gaming headsets? Oh yeah, definitely, definitely. Definitely. 
So guys, if he's giving you a go-ahead and a recommendation to get the Onikuma K10 Pros, then I have to take his word for it because he would not lie. And I love people that do not lie. And I know that he would not lie. So I recommend the Onikuma K10 Pro gaming headsets, guys. Go out there, buy them. They're about $28 right now on Amazon, give or take. They're a good brand. They feel real good. You know, I tried them on. I haven't, you know, heard anything. Like I said, guys, I don't have a gaming set or anything like that. But when I did try them on, literally the noise cancellation was awesome. Like, I couldn't hear really anything from the moment that I put them on. So I do have to say that did work really well. And if he said everything else worked as good as it did, then it's 100%. So guys, go out there, get these headsets, get to gaming. You guys are out there smoking a blunt. Smoke two of them, one for me, one for my brother here. For and he's gonna be coming back, okay, pretty soon because I'm gonna start getting more gaming stuff because I know people are out there and they love to hear about new gaming stuff. So I'm gonna make sure that he comes back and we're gonna do more stuff for you guys. So thank you guys for joining me in Mike's room. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.